My name is Robert Hyman. I'm a full-time demonstrator with Vitamix. And since we have a few weeks off, I'm going to share with you some recipes that I like to make. Now, I'm currently at home and uh, I'm taking you over to my kitchen now. My kitchen's really small. And so it'd be kind of hard to film in there and show you everything that we do. So as you saw, I set up my full demonstration table and that's where we're gonna make our recipes. So let's get at it. Today's recipe is the Great Grape Smoothie. So we're gonna put in a cup of strawberries, a cup of grape syrup, a little bit of sweetener, and two to three cups of ice. All right, very, very simple recipe. So let's get started. So we're gonna start off by putting in the strawberries. Uh, there we go, put those in there. And then um, we're going to add the grape syrup. Now all these ingredients you can get from your local grocery store. Many of these you'll already have in your home. Okay, uh, time for some sweetener. Now as you see I'm using some Truvia. Um, you could use agave, you could use regular sugar. You could actually put in about uh, four to six dates in there. And uh, the dates would make it nice and sweet. And then time for some ice. Now in the ingredients list I said two to three cups of ice. I'll talk about that in just a minute. I'm using about two and a half cups. Let's just put the lid on, and then we're gonna hit one of our presets and hit the start button. There we go. All right, now this is the A3500, by the way. And this is our top of the line machine. Uh, it's a brand new design for the company. It's the newest, it's about two years old now. Um, very, very cool. It's got five presets built in there now. Um, that's what I used. I hit the, the smoothie preset. Um, longer warranty than some of our older machines. Uh, all new motor. It's more quiet than our older machines too. Um, lots of advances with the new machine. Anyway, so that's uh, that's a little bit about the machine. Um, so as far as the two to three cups of ice go, uh, that is going to depend on how thick you want it. Normal smoothies you'd want to do somewhere around a cup, cup and a half of ice but I like this one really thick. So I use about two to two and a half cups. Um, if you want to turn it into say uh, uh, a slushy or, or um, say some sorbet, let's call it a sorbet, you would just add three cups of ice and then you'd have a nice grape sorbet. All right. So let me go back to the kitchen. I got to get my little spatula there and uh, a straw. Can't drink a smoothie without a straw, right? There you have it. As you can see how thick that is, right? That's because I used two and a half cups of ice. If you had just used one cup of ice, then it would just be able to pour out. But like I said, I like to make this recipe really, really thick. Uh, it's, well, it's how I used to get it when I used to buy it at the smoothie chain. Now I make it myself at home for fractions of the cost. A little bit more out. There we go. There's enough for some leftovers too. And there you have it, right? Great, great smoothie.